Good morning and welcome to another video tutorial for um, the Adobe Illustrator program. Today we're going to be working on assignment 2-5 which is gradients and illusions. We are going to start by selecting the ellipse tool which is in your shape tool. Please remember to have Essential Classics selected um, because it gives you more options. Okay, I'm going to make a perfect circle and I do that by holding down the shift key as I um, select my circle. Now here's a gradient tool, okay, and <clears throat> I can select the type either lines or circles. So linear is lines, radial is circles. I'm going to select uh, a radial circle because we are going to make a ball. Now, right now, the center of the gradient is in the middle of the ball, but I don't want it there. I want it up here. And that's because I'm going to pretend my light is coming from here. Okay, so my light is coming from up top. Uh, I am also going to change this color um, to something much lighter. And yeah, I'll leave that alone. Um, I'm still not happy with it. So I'm actually going to change that first color to white. So that is where the light is hitting the ball. If I want to make the gradient... See, I can reshape this gradient any way I want. Okay, so all I'm going to do, oops. Okay, if I want to move the gradient, I can move it here. Make it a little bigger. And again, I am going to pull this out so that, oops, the lightest part is there. See down here, this is my stroke. This is the outline of my gradient. I don't want an outline, so I'm going to select this, which is none. Okay, next I'm going to use my selection tool. So you'll see that my circle has been selected. And um, for quickness, I am going to use control C and then control V and suddenly I have a second ball. Okay, this ball is going to be my shadow. So I am going to flatten it out, but that doesn't look right. So here's what I need to do. I need to fill and I am going to fill it with black. I was gonna fill it with black. There we go down here. I now have a black shadow. Well, that doesn't look very good. So I need to apply yet another gradient. But this isn't the gradient I want. I want it darkest. So black, where it's going to sit right under the ball. Then I'm going to add, okay, again, I need to click on this little. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my way through the different colors and lighten it as I go. Okay, this isn't a whole lot of fun to watch necessarily. And I am going to pick a white. Okay. Uh, this gradient is radial, which was great for our ball, but it's not so lovely for our shadow. So I'm going to click the gradient over here and I'm going to say linear. And I can change how opaque it is. So I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. And 
there we go. But that still doesn't look quite right because now the shadow is sitting on top of the ball. The way to do this is to, we're going to go over here to select. We're going to select our um, shadow. We can go to object. And we are going to go down to arrange. Where is it? Sorry, I'm having trouble. There it is. It's right at the top. Sorry. So we're going to arrange and we're going to send it, in this case, just two back, which means it will go behind the ball. And if there were anything else um, on our page, it would go behind that as well. And now it's just a matter of putting our um, original ball where we want it. Do we want to turn this a little? Maybe. It will always stay behind. And there we go. We have a 3D ball with a shadow. Okay. And it's just a matter of moving the shadow so that it looks realistic. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video tutorial.